Now, what I'm going to preach you this morning may be one of the most important messages that I've ever preached in all the years. Stephen Hawking, and a theoretical physicist, has warned these people, you are about to open Pandora's box. And once you open Pandora's box, you cannot put Pandora, you cannot put back in what came out of that box. Antimatter is a product of this experimentation in CERN, Switzerland. Antimatter is coming from it. Antimatter is so powerful that one man says that one grain, one grain of antimatter is the equivalent of four atomic bombs that were dropped on Hiroshima. Here we have in CERN, Switzerland, a huge wheel. Inside that wheel is a Hindu God and his name is Shiva. Brahma is the God of creation. Vishnu is the God of preservation, but Shiva is the God of destruction. Where they have done this experimentation, strange things are happening, unexpected by the scientist. Paranormal phenomena, they like to call it. Ghost, all kinds of demonic spirits are beginning to manifest themselves in ways. NASA, they said just a few days ago that by the year 2020, that we will definitely come in contact with aliens, beings from another planet. Now we're talking about scientists. We're too smart for the Bible, we're scientists. Yet this crowd is saying that in just a few years that they're gonna know, that they know that they're gonna come in contact with alien beings. I thought to myself, my, 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 my. There are no aliens out there, folks. Forget that stuff, okay? There's nothing out there. You get into the third heaven, you get into the abode of God. There's nothing up there. All these UFOs, spacecraft, flying saucers, all this stuff, that's all demonic. It's real, but it's demonic. I mean, a deception like this world has never known before. How close could we be to the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ? How close could we be? How close? The church is asleep, but the Lord's coming back. In the name above all names, the name that will one day rule this place, the name that has authority beyond all names, the name by which the entire universe is held together, the name by which all uniform letters come and are existent to form our names. At that name, we bow. The name of Yeshua, the Son of the living God, Yahweh. I want you to raise your hands to heaven like a baby that's asking Abba to hold me. Following God is a choice. If you choose Him, understand He has already chosen you.